We back again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Hard. <laughs> Very hard. Um, when I'm doing speaking engagement and talking to people, I always say, like, the WBA is the hardest league to get into, you know? We have only 144 spots, and we have good people coming out every year. So it's definitely hard. Um, it's hard, but it also makes you special, you know? It also gives you a platform to those who don't get the opportunity to continue to try and continue to chase their dream and not give up on it. It's hard, but it's doable. Uh, just piggyback off of her. I agree. Um, I think my resume speaks for itself as far as just okay. making the WBA team and being on different teams. So I've been in some pretty good organizations. So I just think uh, it's difficult, but I mean, just honestly continue to build relationships. That would be my biggest piece of advice and don't burn bridges. But um, I've been a part of some really cool organizations. So I'm glad to be here though with this part. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I think anybody that looks at him, he's just super energetic, like he's Kurt, you know, so um, going into last season, I didn't know what to expect, you know, I had a really good talk with him over the phone and then coming into this season also, but like Kurt is all about championships and I think his resume speaks for itself, like, you know, and last season I had an amazing time making it to the finals and just learning from some of the best players in the world and so I think just his energy and just what he brings every day, it'll show in us every day, you know, so, but he's all about championships and building championships and mentality and stuff like that, so I think it'll be a good rebuilding season for us here this year. I was wondering if there is a specific thing in your basketball game you kind of work on the game, so it's not so obvious. <laughs> Oh, I'll go. Um, I think for me overseas, it was more about being a leader. I think last year um, I had somebody kind of leading me overseas. So um, I think I took on that role. I had a rookie under me. She's playing at Phoenix right now. So um, just, you know, and I think playing through my mistakes. I got a lot of playing time overseas this season. So being able to just see what mistakes I'm making and not continue to make the same ones and being able to play through that and then also lead other people. So I think for me, that was the biggest key. And then just trying to... Um, Touch up my three, my range as far as going down, extending to the three point line. Other than that, I think. Well, to piggyback for her, um, going overseas is also a great opportunity for us to work on things we may not get the reps for when we're here. So for me, it was my first year in Turkey, and it was hard, but it was hard in a good way because Turkey had the most WNBA players in that league. So every night I was basically going to get someone who I would probably see this summer. So for me, it was a challenge. For me, one to stay out of foul trouble. And two, to showcase that I'm able to shoot the three, I'm able to um, do handle my business down low, but not only that, I got to make a jumper, a jumper too as well. So just showcasing that every year, like I'm always trying to bring something to my game and just add something to my game. Yeah. 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 I think for this is our relationship now with this new regime, how much different has it had in the last year? Well, not to bash last time. <laughs> I think it was really great. And I think that year alone was special because of the bubble year. We all played in the bubble. But for me, this, I call it LA 2.0 for me. Like I get to play at home in front of my family and friends. And I feel like it doesn't get any better for that. But um, what, Coach, Coach, what Coach KD is doing and what Coach Kurt is building on the court and off the court, we can feel it. Like if you guys come to like our practices or something like that, or just watch like me, like today, I'm pretty sure you can see all the different personalities, all the different players, because everyone was handpicked for a reason, design. So I think it's really good to just be back here because we're here for a reason. I'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. And I feel like the 17 people are here for a reason. And just to get out there and compete and just get after it. You know, everybody just get out there. That's one of the things that everybody wants. With it being so hard in this league, it's just having the opportunity to get out there and just do what you're here to do. Hi, thank you, my name is Um, You guys are both being in the basketball in general. Um, what is this for you guys right now? Um, for me, I think it's just, uh, 
I think it's a big season for me. You know, I'm coming off a decent overseas season, but I think I played pretty well in Italy this year. And like Rashonda said, I think the Turkish League was tough, but I think the Italian League was tough too. So I think for me, just going in, like, I just want to continue to grow and continue to build, you know, and continue to, like, sharpen up on the things that I did, sharpen up on overseas, and just continue to have that and then continue to grow and move forward. I think that's really important. Um, for me, it's a little different because I've been on multiple teams. So every year I'm on a different team. So to be home and actually have a home, I think will be freaking amazing. It doesn't get any better than that. So that's just something I'm looking forward to, just being able to play here in front of my family and friends, my high school classmates, and like a bunch of kids that I mentor at nonprofits that I volunteer at. We'll move on to questions on okay, okay. okay, opening up any Zoom questions. First question, Rico Cabrera. Yes, uh, good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Rico Cabrera from East LA Sports Scene. Your fans out of East LA are going to be really, really looking forward to seeing you play on this team. But the question to both of you, uh, to uh, your captain, to Nick Ogumake, individually, separately, your thoughts on now being able to play in this environment now with her. And uh, because it's it's always uh, Neck telling us that she really looks to her players um, to build a, with her on this and a successful season. So individually, your thoughts on on that on being with uh, Neck and, and Shanae. You want to go first? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think uh, it's a blessing in disguise. You know, I've been fortunate to play with some really good people and very high levels. And so um, I think just being able to be here in the last four days, I mean, they've shown outstanding leadership. Um, and obviously, I mean, it's a new role for them to become a totally different team. So um, I would just say, I mean, it's been fun, you know, so far, so good. So I'm uh, just looking forward to keeping things going and keeping things rolling. And uh, I'm excited, you know, playing with the top of the top. It'll be interesting. Um, for me, I think it's pretty funny. Um, I made a joke yesterday to Chenny and Neka, and they had, like, their Stanford sweaters on. Of course, you know that I went to Cal, so we always battling with each other. And I made a joke, and I'm like, I'm tired of scaring y'all, like, because I've been battling against them all these years. But um, Nick is definitely somebody that I look up to. And just having that experience of just playing against her in college and then getting that opportunity to shadow her in the bubble is the way she handled herself on and off the court is something that I would want to be. Like, she's literally somebody that I look up to on and off the court. And... For her, this I, I it's safe to say like this is her team. Like she's going into her 14th, 15th season. 12. Okay, I aged her, but the way she carried herself is so mature. Like you, she's definitely like a vet. And for us to be here, and that makes us feel really good because that means she's done with us, that she sees something in us. So we're just here to be happy. We're thankful for the opportunity. And you know, our goal is to always make her happy and try to do our jobs the best we can, way we can. Thank you. Muchas gracias. De nada. <laughs> Thank you. Other questions online? Any other questions? Perfect. Thank you, guys. Bye.